he wears my chair again someone on the other keeps taking my chair every day no i don't think so we should do it Actually, think of anything right now. There's nothing that I don't like, like as much. But the ladies' bathroom is not marked out clearly. Now these sales guys are so loud, man. Starting with the fact that we don't have a smoking zone. I absolutely love the food. These sales guys get biryani for dinner, okay, and we get bhindi for lunch. That's not fair, dude. Bhindi kaun khata hai? Sometimes I'm afraid I'll overeat and become fat. Pata nahi log lights bhi on nahi karte. First floor mein to kitna maza aaya. There's so much light. But I only wish people take discussions to meeting rooms or cabins. I think it's the space and it's a bit congested. And you have to go find a cabin to work, but sometimes even they are occupied. If we sit in cabins, how will we hustle? How will we collaborate? How will we disrupt? How will we become a unicorn? Can we please get to monitor the AC temperature? Sometimes there are some cold spots in the offices. Where it might become a little bit uncomfortable to work. These people complain too much. If you're feeling cold, wear a jacket, no. Yeah, sometimes I find myself in a lot of meetings. Sometimes our meetings are very long, yeah. Like it's insanely long. And there are meetings back to back, and you just need to isolate yourself and finish up your task. I don't like the fact that people call me Mohan Lal. Hey, Mohan Lal. Poker last week. I think it's a chilled out place. You know, no one bosses me around. And there's no dress code. I mean, check this out. I can wear my harem pants. And uh, you end up enjoying a lot while working. Nobody sort of puts me down, and there's a lot of creative freedom. So that's really nice. I used to work as a mechanical engineer in a factory and write in my spare time. You can imagine how interesting my life was. There's no hierarchy, if you want to call it that. And I sit right next to my CEO. There's no politics over here. Everything is pretty much straightforward. I think I have complete freedom and ownership of whatever I do with just the right amount of guidance. People at Hiver are intense. They're caring, they're fun to be around, and they know their shit. I've seen the company grow from 30 people to all the way 80 people, and that's a big growth. So you get to work on front-end technologies, sometimes in back-end technologies, and sometimes you even end up handling servers. So which basically helps. in the all round development it feels great that there are these company trips to goa i joined after the company trip but i'm sure it would have been fun the best moment is when your product ships and you see it on the screens and you know thousands of people are using it every day and not just in your country in like all across the world so that's a really proud moment for a designer sometimes it even takes months to deliver one feature but when it gets finally shipped it is just awesome I think I've really worked hard for certain roles from the hiring standpoint of view and when these people actually join our company and do such a fantastic work I just feel absolutely great. I recently worked on this blog post about the support team that got a lot of traction. One of the customers even commented on it and I feel really proud. I handle sales in the US region right now and it's been pretty great there. To be fair, I was a rookie like zero experience but it's working out brilliant and I love it. This is one of the best times of my career. I couldn't have asked for a better work culture. The best part about Hiver, you don't feel like you're coming to work. I feel everyone around me pushes me to become better every day. Hey, did you finish that blog post? Hey, where's my chair again? Someone or the other keeps taking my chair every day. Do you have any idea where my chair is? The least you can do is not take the CEO's chair.